Hey, 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 what's up YouTube, DAG double S here with a first generation underused battle against my friend Blanium. This was a fast match and yeah, it was really interesting, so let's go into it. So yeah, I uh, highly off with uh, Electabuzz and my opponent is Arcanine. I just went for the safe play with Thunderbolt, but he's going to send straight uh, uh, from the beginning his Sun Slash to wall my uh, Electabuzz. So now I'm going to switch out to my Tangela as my opponent is going to take the opportunity to set up a substitute here but yeah uh, what he didn't remember during the battle is that on first generation uh, substitute doesn't block status it only blocks damage so yeah after dealing a critical hit with his body slam I'm going to put his sandlash to sleep so yeah uh, now that he's asleep uh, I will be able to break his sub with mega drain and yeah unfortunately uh, Mega Drain uh, want to regain my health because of the substitute, so yeah, that uh, crit uh, some uh, it hurt Tangela. So yeah, anyway, uh, I was predicting a switch here, so I went with Stun Spore, and he's going to send his O Tangela, which is going to get paralyzed. And now, uh, seeing that I don't have anything on my team that want to take Sleep Powder, I will stay and go with Mega Drain. But it turns out that he's going to go with the Stun Spore instead of the sleep powder so yeah my tension is paralyzed now so I will send my Charizard now and he's going to go with the body slam and unfortunately for me Charizard is going to get paralyzed by that so yeah uh, anyway I will go with a fire blast here as he's going to switch to polygraph and unfortunately fire blast misses so now I will go with my Electabuzz as my opponent will set up with Amnesia so yeah here we have really dangerous poke so I will go with a Thunderbolt to deal as much damage as possible and I will get a crit and yeah with that crit which was really influential I will take his uh, set upper, his Amnesia poke down. So yeah now he's going to go with Tangela again and now that my Charizard is already paralyzed I will go into it and now predicting a switch into his Arcanine I will go with the Earthquake and fortunately for me that prediction was correct. So yeah, uh, Arcane is going to take a huge chunk from that. But yeah, now, uh, as he's going to be faster than me, I will switch and send my Goldak. And uh, yeah, maybe he thought that I would stay because he put the Reflect up. But yeah, uh, Goldak doesn't mind that because it's a special attacker. And now I will always Surf. So yeah, Blanium is going to send his Porygon to take my hit. And as Porygon may have the Thunderbolt or Thunder Wave, I will switch out and send my Electabuzz, so yeah, uh, he's going to take that opportunity to recover. So now I will go with the Thunder Wave, and he's going to use the Sharpen to increase his attacks. So now that I know he's a physical attacker, I will go with Graveler, and uh, now that I'm faster because Paralysis, I will go with the Earthquake and luckily get a crit. But guess what, he has the Blizzard, and he's going to use the Freeze Hugs. So yeah, Graveler uh, is now useless for my team. But yeah, uh, now that I have seen all his moves, I know he, he doesn't have a electric type move. So predicting a recover, I will go with my Kingler. And that was a free switch for me. So now I will be able to set up as worse than as my opponent is going to go with a Hyper Beam. And Pori was a plus 2, so yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage, but Kingler is a boss on UU, and it will survive that hit and take Porygon out of the way. So yeah, uh, now my opponent is going to send Arcanine, and I wasn't pretty sure what to do here, because Kingler wasn't paralyzed, and I could save it for later, but I decided to stay, and my opponent went for the body slam, and the boss of Kingler survived 1 HP. So yeah, I was able to do a body slam here. So now uh, Arcanine is on the range where I can easily go with Electabuzz to revenge kill it. But I predicted his switch into his Sun Slash and went with the Seismic Toast. So yeah, uh, his Sun Slash is still asleep. So with a combination of a Psychic and another Seismic Toast, it's going to go down. So now uh, Blanium is going to reveal a Scyther. And I will just go with the super effective Thunderbolt, which is going to be almost a one-hit KO. But Cytrus survives, set up an agility, and now go with the Hyper Beam. 
and I probably is going to do like half but uh, yeah so now I could take him out with a Thunderbolt so here comes Tangel again I will go with Charizard uh, and he's going to go with the Sleep Powder which is not going to affect it so now I will go with Fire Blast which almost take it out uh, but yeah Tangel is really bulky so it survived and yeah here I get a Parahax but that didn't matter that much because with a body slam I will take him out on this turn. So yeah, my opponent only has a Arcanine now, <laughs> he's unfortunately going to miss his Hyper Beam and I'm going to take him down with the Earthquake to win the game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave your awesome feedback as always and visit my opponent channel which will be on the description. We are seeing next time, peace.